Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this simple pull motion graphics with Canva. Okay, um, without wasting much time, let's just jump right into it. It's quite simple. Um, it didn't even take up to 10 pages, but at least um, I just need to show you how I did it. And please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Now let's jump right into the tutorial. First, I'm going to, go to my home page and i'm going to select create a design and create a custom size design i'll go with 3000 by 3000 and i'll just click create new design yep and now we have our first page now on this first page the first thing i did was i used um i clicked on added a new text sorry and i made it look as if i was um coding so uh, where is my now this this canva and then this so i wanted to give it that typewriter feel so, and i changed it to a korea prime and make it bold i think 200 was the text size so this is the canva text now i applied the um, an animation to this canva text right here and i select see i didn't animate the whole page i just selected this canva and i went to animate so you know you can animate text you can animate um text separately elements separately that's a new feature that canva introduced a long time ago so it's really nice now i will go for the typewriter and reduce the think the seconds of this page to two seconds so that's all for the first page i'm going to duplicate this and this is our second page then elements um i clicked i searched for animated cursor and this is what i got so this is it it's trying to make sure that it's touching the canva text so for this particular page I removed the animation of I removed the animation of this Canva. It's not like this one. This one has no animation. Why this one has an animation? So this I'm going to think the right timing. You know you can edit timing too for um, animations on Canva. So I'm going to edit this timing. So let's say um, think think 0.7 seconds yep so we've gotten our first page we've gotten our second page now let's move over to our third page and for this third page um i'm going to select this canva animated logo place it right here in the middle the reason why um i did this so when this particular cursor touches this canva text right here this um, logo is going to pop up so for this one i'm going to use i'm going to use five seconds okay let's leave it at five seconds now i'm going to duplicate this page so we're done with first second and third page so i'm going to duplicate this and then bring this one here now we we'll, we'll no longer need this one so we have this one so immediately this one is going off this one is coming out now this one too okay this one will be two seconds so it doesn't take too much of our time and now we have, we're done with four pages now the next one will be um the fifth page so i'll just click on add page okay and then select the text is Okay, single and go with 200. Nope, too small. And I'll still use our Korea Prime. I look like a typewriter. Select. I want the colors to look, I want the colors of the text to look like Canva colors. So I'm just going to click on this and use the um, color picker tool here. Select this one. 
why are they running so this is for ease i'm going to duplicate this now this one is for the that's d and i'm going to still use the color picker tool right here i think this darker color would do then i'm going to bring this over onto a new page bring this one right here so we have d and the for this text i'm going to use the bust animation bust where are you bust animation and set the timer to I think two seconds so it doesn't take that long for it to fade away and this one i'm going to use the same bust animation which is this and still reduce the timing to two seconds so we are done with um let me see if this is in the middle this is in the middle and um things is in the middle yep yep this is in the middle so we have six pages now and moving on to the other page i'm just going to duplicate this and then canva is the future this is the last page canva is the future so for this one i'm not going to use bust animation because it's i'm going to use where are you where are you bridge where are you bridge bridge, bridge. i'm gonna use bridge yep i'm gonna use bridge so bridge bridge should be five seconds because that's almost the last part okay so we have um our six pages and then the then the last page in case you want to know how i achieved this particular page the animation so i'm going to copy all of this copy and i'm going to paste it here oops this is locked sorry unlock this unlock this copy this paste it here Okay, and I'm going to copy this and paste it here. You need to go to the back. And then I am going to copy this background. I love this background and paste it. So the animation I used for this particular page was um, simple animation then the music the final parts go to audio and yes your gain was the one I, I selected it now let's play it and see how it looks okay so that's how i achieved the design and you can now go ahead to download and save it okay so i hope you learned something you enjoyed the tutorial stay tuned for more of the tutorials subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next time mm -hmm. one last time let me just play it again Yeah, I think um you can I can reduce the timer of this page. It's looking let's see just to try something. Yeah, one point five. Okay, let's
So, yep, that worked. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.